Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I'm gonna give you some project ideas that you can use for your portfolio in order to get a job as a blockchain developer. So before we get into that, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And also, if you're interested in learning how to build blockchain technology, you can download my courses for free at my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. So let's talk about some project ideas that you can use for your portfolio in order to become a blockchain developer. And I'm making this video because I've been getting this question a lot. People are kind of saying, hey, what should I build? What kind of projects should I work on in my personal time in order to build my portfolio to become a blockchain developer? And I've been talking about this idea in some of my other videos about, you know, how you should, you know, create a portfolio if you're trying to get your first blockchain job, you know, whether you come from a different development background and are trying to get into blockchain or if, if you're just trying to get your first job as a programmer, um, it's usually good to have a portfolio. So I'm going to give you some ideas today. So the first idea is to actually build a voting system. So I've got, you know, a pretty long tutorial, like a two hour tutorial on how to build your first decentralized application where I show you how to build a basic voting system. And you can actually take that tutorial as a starting point to build something more sophisticated. You know, you could build more features on top of that, like, you know, timers on the election. Um, you could build ways to register voters. You could actually uh, build token voting. So now what would that look like? Token voting would basically be like, someone has to hold a token in order to, you know, cast a vote, right? It'd be like having an organization where people must buy tokens as a part of the ecosystem in order to actually vote for, you know, the, the candidates in the election or whatever is on the ballot, whether it's a person running for office or it's, you know, just something that you want to pass. And this could be like an ERC-20 token, like an Ethereum token. And, you know, people who have more tokens could have more weighted votes and people with less tokens would have you know less of a say or it could be something like a non-fungible token which i'll talk more about in a minute which is basically just like a you know a unique token that someone has to have in order to vote in the election or for whatever the ballot is so that's the first idea is to build some sort of voting system on the blockchain in a decentralized way with smart contracts. You know, you can build the smart contracts, you can build, you know, the interface for this kind of thing. There's a lot you could do. So that's the first idea. The second idea would be to build a crypto collectible game. And there's lots of examples of this out there, you know, on the web. You can go to a website like dapradar.com and see all the, you know, crypto collectible games out there. Uh, you know, e uh, Crypto Kitties is a really popular example of this, where you build an ERC721 token, which is a non-fungible token. It's a unique token that has some metadata um, that, you know, stores information about the kitty and allows you to, you know, generate its image. And, you know, you can build this token and you can also build some smart contracts that allow these collectibles to breed or have some other sort of behavior in your app um, that would make users want to, you know, use it. So that's another example. All right, the third idea I have for you all is to actually build a cryptocurrency exchange. And in most cases, you probably want to build like a decentralized exchange. So what is that? So a decentralized exchange is, you know, an exchange that doesn't have a central entity. Sometimes people call this a non-custodial exchange. And this would allow you to basically trade your funds in a decentralized way. Um, you know, and you can do this with smart contracts on Ethereum. So a good example would be like Ether Delta. You could take a look at some of that. I've done some other videos about that on my channel. And this is a really great use case uh, for blockchain technology, especially right now with the state of things, there's a lot of people own cryptocurrency. And this is a really good idea for a portfolio piece uh, for you know someone who wants to become a blockchain developer because there's a lot of moving parts. It's a very real world application, real world project. And it's something that you know really shows your skills if you build something like this. So another example would be a token curated registry. So what is that? Well, if you don't know, a token curated registry is basically a list on the blockchain. It could be any type of list. That's what the registry means. And it's curated or it's, you know, created by people who own tokens. All right. So think of this kind of like Yelp on the blockchain, right? So what is Yelp? Yelp's a review service 
that, you know, has, uh, let's just say restaurants, there's lots of stuff on Yelp, but restaurants are probably the biggest example. And you can go, you know, rate restaurants, right? So if you do this on the blockchain with smart contracts, um, what this would do is provide some economic incentives. So people who curate the list hold tokens and the list has its own token. And the people who curate the list basically hold the tokens in the ecosystem and the incentive is for them to maintain good quality uh, of the list so that you know other people find it useful and that other you know providers want to be on the list. So this can be managed with smart contracts on Ethereum is also a really great you know use case or something you could build as a blockchain developer for your portfolio. So I could probably make some more videos about TCRs. That's what they call for short, Token Curator Registry, TCR. Um, and I haven't talked about that too much on my channel. Uh, if, if you're interested in making a video about that, just leave a comment down below. All right, so another example um, would be another type of decentralized autonomous organization. So what is a decentralized autonomous organization? Well, it's a DAO, so D-A-O. Um, so let me clarify. It's not the DAO. Sometimes this gets a bad name because people have heard about the DAO hack, which happened you know, several years ago. Um, so it is a DAO, a decentralized autonomous organization. So basically this is an organization that runs itself programmatically or in a decentralized way on the blockchain. And the TCR, the Token Creator Registry that I mentioned a second ago, is actually an example of a DAO or a decentralized autonomous organization. And I guess to some extent, like a, a token-based voting system is also somewhat of a decentralized autonomous organization. You could build other types of DAOs that are basically any kind of organization that's run on a blockchain, like a company. So some examples would be like, you know, a company that has clear organization structure, like a CEO and other, you know, C-level uh, executives and other people in the company, and they all have rights. They all have permissions that are managed on the blockchain, and they can do stuff like vote on how funds are used. They can basically be, they can vote to dispense funds um, or you know pay for things, and you can build smart contracts to do this, and that's another great item um, for your portfolio as a blockchain developer. Now, there's a lot of other things you could build. You can get very creative, and that's what's Awesome, you know, I just want to get you guys some ideas um, to kind of get your brain going, to maybe maybe you have some other creative ideas how to build off of these kinds of things, but you've got lots of resources on this channel to get started. Oh yeah, another example is, I mean, to build like a really complex uh, ICO, crowd sale or something like that. There's a lot of behavior um, that could potentially go into an ICO crowd sale where you're, you know, minting tokens and locking them and, you know, doing, uh, you know, user registration and whitelisting and, you know, token vesting. That can all get very complicated. So yeah, those are some ideas for you all. So I hope you have fun is helpful. Again, I don't want you to limit your ideas to just this list. And these are just some things that I came up with because people keep asking me and I want to make a video to kind of give you a resource to get you kind of thinking about this. Um, there's lots of other things you can build. You can get very creative. Um, so yeah, if you have any other ideas about what other people can build for their portfolios or if you have a portfolio piece that you want to share, leave a comment down in the comment section below. So that's all I got for today, guys. I hope you all like this video. Again, if you're interested in learning how to build blockchain technology, you can download my courses for free on my website over at dappuniversity.com forward slash free download. You know, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and click the like button down below. And until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.